Hello, I'm Isaac, and I'm here in Manchester to show you how to use the tram network, and give some tips on how to use it more efficiently. Getting around places on the tram can be difficult at times, and it may be confusing which ticket you should buy, or which tram to take. This video should answer all of those questions. If you have other related questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. Now, let's get started with how to tram in Manchester. The Metrolinx ticketing system uses four fare zones, and each zone is further away from the city centre than the last. You must have a ticket that's valid for all of the zones that you pass through when making a journey. Let's begin with some examples. I'm checking which zones I pass through if I take a ride from Vela Park to Piccadilly. Looks like I pass through zones 1 and 2. So I need that ticket. Zone 1 plus 2. Okay, so what if I go from Droylsden to Piccadilly? Droylsden is in zone 3, and Piccadilly is in zone 1. But I pass through zone 2. So I need a ticket for zones 1, 2, and 3. Now over to my good friend in Altrium, who's definitely not me, <coughs> who's going to bury, and I... <coughs> he's having some trouble finding his ticket. Yeah, I'm trying to get from Altrium to Bury. I'm not sure how to go about it. Well, then you'd need a ticket for all the zones. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh? Wouldn't I need one for 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 2, and... Three in. If you pass through the same zone twice on the same journey, you don't need to pay for it again. Remember to check the tram timetable so that you know which trams are in service at what time, so that you don't think you're boarding a tram that's not there. Okay, hopefully now you know how to find and purchase the correct ticket. Now I'm starting my own journey, from Wharfside, one of the new tram stops on the network, to Parkway. So let's see which one I need. Oh, Parkway is on the border of two ticket zones, two and three. Stops like these can be counted as being in either zone, depending on where you come into it from. The best way to visualise this is by drawing a line. Not literally. Drawing a line in your head from your starting stop to your destination, and then see which zones the line passes through. I'm going from Wharfside to Parkway since I'm coming into Parkway, which is on the border of Zone 2 and 3, from Zone 2. I can treat Parkway as a Zone 2 stop, because my imaginary line doesn't cross the border into Zone 3. So that means I'm getting a Zone 2 ticket. I could get a single journey, but I need to come back later, so I'll get a one-day travel card, because it can also act as a return ticket. Adult tickets are for ages 16 and over, and child tickets are for ages 5 to 15. If you're buying a child ticket, you must have a proof of age, for example, a passport or an agro card. When you're ready, tap to buy your tickets and pay using any of the three methods here, coins and notes, credit or debit card, or contactless card. My ticket costs £1.90. If you're paying with card or with exact change in coins and notes, after your ticket gets printed, your receipts will get printed after it. And now, let's finally make our journey. To get to Parkway from here, I need to catch a tram to the Trafford Centre. And now I'm at Parkway. Also, this seems like a perfect time to say that this is my first video with voiceover. This channel had a test series of 23 episodes earlier in the year, and you can view the playlist by clicking the link in the top right. And later, I'm back at Parkway to return.
And now I'm back at Wolfside and I finally made my journey on the tram. But how do I know how long each journey is going to take? Estimated journey times aren't shown on the official network map, but for longer journeys, a rough estimate of 5 minutes for every two stops is good. You can also find more accurate estimates on the Transport for Greater Manchester website. And finally, how do you travel with a contactless card? Well, on every platform, you'll see a smart reader that looks like this. To begin your journey on the tram, you simply touch in at one of the readers. At the end of your journey, touch out by tapping your card again at one of the readers, and you're good to go. If you need to change tram services at a stop, you don't need to touch your card again. But there's a catch. Contactless travel is only available for passengers paying the adult fares. That's 16 and over. Passengers aged 5 to 15 should not use contactless to pay for travel on the tram, and instead use the ticket machines. Ages 4 and under can travel for free. And that's all you need to know if you're using the tram in Manchester. Thanks so much for watching if you made it this far. This video took a really long time to make, so please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. And feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time.